Hi, Cem Tezcan here. I'm recording this video to show you an update I made for uh, the advanced CRT material I made for Unreal Engine. Uh, it's available on the fab and you can see the link in the video description. So this update is an advancement on the timestamp system I created for this pack. So as you see on the VCR um, effects there is a timestamp at the bottom left corner of the screen and it increases by the seconds uh, of the time so you just change the numbers on the old system A actually i'm showing you the previous version right now uh, there was a bunch of actors right here for each digit and there is a capture system that reads the um, digits and projects them onto this texture so this texture is texture is directly projected to the system but it has some flaws in performance wise because this capture system works uh, captures in real time so that means if you are running a 60 fps game it reads these numbers in uh, 60 frames a second but you see that the change is only uh, one time in a second so i converted the system into a blueprint uh, and also i made it update in a second uh, once in a second to gain a performance so let me show you the new version also by the way uh, changing these numbers were was very hard on the previous system you were need to edit every material instance right here by manually so let's see how we can do on the new system the new system is just a blueprint right here only one actor right now and you can easily add it to your own level without copying a set of uh, multiple actors like the previous one so this blueprint if you accidentally delete it you can put it from the uh, content folder and as you see uh, it looks pretty much the same as the previous one but if you click to the blueprint you will see that there are a bunch of parameters parameters right here you can change the time like here and you can change the minute minute is uh, having a bit of uh, offset it from the actual uh, value you enter here let me enter zero and you will see that uh, it shows three it because of the design of the system but uh, this difference won't be happen on the packaged game because uh, the runtime uh, this is the gap between the runtime and the change that you made on this parameter so don't bother with that because this way you can easily see that the numbers will exactly look as the same on the packaged game because the system time uh, the project timing will start with the projection of this capture so you can see that you can change it anyway by here and you can change the month and day actually it's not a date like this and also you can change the year directly by here there is a switch bit, uh, here to change the uh, our system as 12 and 24 hours if i uh, uncheck it i can enter uh, hours like 24 hour basis and if i set it back to the previous you will see that it's converted to the 12 hour system so you can see the result like this and now you will see that we have changed some parameters and i'm double clicking to the uh, projected texture here you will see that it's not updating because uh, it's because of the uh, design of the system because this system just reads the texture once this uh, capture system is moved so i set and loop in the 
um, blueprint. So once the uh, once you run your game, this camera system will move one unit forward and one unit back in once in a second. So this way it will update these changes once in a second and project it to this texture. So this means a huge performance gain. So this way it will be easier uh, to project the system uh, once in a second because the changes happens in once in a second, you know. You can see that there is no change right now. It is caused by uh, this blueprint is not a runtime blueprint. If I click this one, uh, the, uh, what I mean is you need to make your adjustment first, uh, like set your time, date, etc. And after that, you click to the runtime enable. This makes it to disappear. And you will see that there will be no update uh, in the screen as well. But once you run your game and enter to the blueprint uh, post-process area, you will see that this time uh, just updates regularly uh, with a huge performance gain uh, instead of the previous one. So you can see that it also updates on the uh, materials, mesh materials like this. So you just need to just check the runtime enable for packaging the game. If you uh, don't do that, once you run your game, you will see that this also updates, but the date and other values uh, will be just the default values, not the ones you have set up in the blueprint. So if you want to see the exact date you have here, you need to set the runtime enable and then package your game like that. So this sums up the uh, uh, the subject of this video and the subject uh, of content of this update. And I hope you like it. And also, I hope it will be useful uh, on your projects. Thanks so much.